Now, we've got the legendary rapper, actor, Method Man in conversation will be offering a glimpse into his life and career as one of hip hop's most iconic figures. We are gonna talk about how he navigated the entertainment industry, um, the changing landscapes, and really how he's been able to maintain his relevance. So without further ado, uh, Method Man. What's good? Uh, all right. Well, the crowd Them is clearly excited. As, huh? The crowd is clearly excited. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's go ahead and start a little bit from the beginning, right? Um, you obviously have had one of the most iconic music careers, and you have transcended that into acting, but what kind of, what, what was that shift and how did you transform your career to where it is now? Oh, well, um, I just knew I had more to contribute to the industry than just rap. Um, I like to think that I'm a creative, so whatever it has to deal with um, creating something or being innovative or just being an artist, I'm all for it. And I just got tired of rapping. I, I wanted to do something else. Right. You know what I mean? And acting is a great second act for me. Apparently, you guys enjoy the show, correct? <laughs> Pretty cool. We've, we've seen many different eras that you've had. And I think the entertainment landscape has changed so much, even when you think about social media and all these things that really didn't exist when you were coming up. How do you think you've been able to maintain that relevance over the years? I don't know. I think it has a lot to do with the people that are here right now. Um, I think being honest with, with myself and with everybody, that also helps. <laughs> she said, because you're fine, you're wild. <laughs> but that does help, too. Okay. That definitely helps, too. Um, as far as social media goes, I'm not real big on social media, but I know the power that it possesses. I just wish that we as a people would be more careful with the content that we present to the colonizers. You understand? That's it. Right. Okay, so somebody did mention your aesthetic, right? Your looks. Um, and we have been a long fan of you. At Essence, black women have loved you. We didn't just discover you the way I love them some back. people have. Um, and you know, you often, even on social media posts, your fitness routine, but can, can you talk a little bit, can you drop the skincare routine? Can you drop all the other things too? Well, we know what the skin is. It's uh, hydration. So drink your water. Also minding your business helps. Stay out of other people's business. Um, I think that when you're happy, it resonates and it shows on the outside and I'm genuinely happy. So I think that helps as well. Mm -hmm. And you were our 2022 cover star. Um, one of oh, our- Wait, 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 I just did sexy. What was it, sexy you saw? <laughs> and um, congratulations to Damson. Congratulations to Usher. I wasn't in the, the running or nothing, and y'all voted for that, so. <laughs> yeah, all good, all good. No, they deserved it. Both of those brothers deserved it. Very talented, for real, for real. But yeah, look me up next year, what's happening? <laughs> no, but that 2022 cover was one of our most successful and popular covers to date. What did that experience mean to you? I ain't like the clothes. Okay. No, you have to understand, I'm comfortable in my masculinity. You know what I'm saying? And um, I feel like my style should reflect that. And, you know, some of the stuff was a little bit on the fence for me, but I, I, I still wore it and, and did it because of the creative process of it. I'm not a fashionista or anything like that. And I think it went off pretty well, even though I wasn't exactly really happy with the looks. Mm -hmm. I would have just threw on a hoodie, some gray sweats. <laughs> you know? That daddy stay at home look. <laughs> that he ain't got no job look. <laughs> I'm joking. So I went to a wedding a couple weeks ago, and the bride and groom came out to, of course, you're all I need, right? And I, 
Um, a song for which you and Mary won a Grammy to back in Absolutely. 96. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then you all have recently reunited on Power. So can we talk about that experience on Ghost between you and Mary J. Blige? Mary is an OG. What can I say about? Y'all call her Auntie Mary. She don't like that Auntie crap. <laughs> but um, Mary is an OG. And I believe this show, although it's Michael Rainey's show, and we love that kid. He's doing an excellent job, especially this season. I think this show was made for Mary. I mean, people are starting to call her Auntie Monet. I, I don't know where that come from, but it's pretty cool to even have that. And to work with her, I mean, you know, we clown around. She from the hood, I'm from the hood. If y'all knew Mary like I knew Mary, if y'all knew my Mary, yeah, y'all would know why she's still relevant to this day right now and shit. And um, the song, the song is what it is. Gabrielle Union and um, Dwayne Wade actually walked down the aisle to that one too. Any other people plan on getting married this year? Next year, in the future, that's your motherfucking wedding song. Part of my Swahili. <laughs> Um, you have been a part of not just Ghost and Power, but a yeah. few other legendary cult favorites, right? We've Belly got with Wire. DMX. <laughs> yeah. We've got The Wire, we've got Oz. Talk to me about, you know, just the career that you've developed and being a part of these kind of cult following shows. You know what? Um, I am lucky enough to be in an industry that doesn't just throw you away especially when you're willing to do the work and not just do the work, but to show up and be ready to show out. Um, every day that we all get up, our objective in life is to win. I mean, even when we go to the movie theater and we're watching the main character, at the end of the movie, all we want is for that character to win. I suggest everybody every day that when you step out into this world, that should be your mentality, a winning mentality. And um, I forgot what the question was, but I'm gonna go with this win thing. When you're winning and you know you're winning, no battle, you can't lose any battle or anything that goes up against you. You are in control of everything within your circumference. So the best thing you can do for yourself is promote yourself as a winner. And so shall it be. Please believe that. Awesome. Um, I, I saw you say recently in an interview, you are a self-proclaimed blurred, right? You love comic books. Um, I ain't no damn nerd. <laughs> y'all, That's what y'all want to call it, but it taught me how to read. Uh, you absolutely. know what I mean? Um, and you know, you love comic books, you love comic book characters. If there was a role in particular um, from either a comic book film or a comic book movie, what would that be for you? What would be maybe something what of your eyes? What role would it be? Yeah. <laughs> um, I think we should invent our own superheroes. Okay. okay. Let's just start there. Okay. Our own superheroes. I don't give a fuck what color he is. We just want something new. Give us some new superheroes. Maybe, um, Idris Gay actually put me on to that because I asked him if he would do the James Bond thing and he was not interested whatsoever. He said, let's do a black James Bond. And I'm totally for that right there, you know? Um, Y'all too be watching people, don't shoot down Tubi. Tubi doing a lot of good things over there, especially for the community, but a lot of that stuff be a little trashy. Yes. Uh, jumping into music a little bit. Yeah. You, uh, have a residency going on with your group. How, how has the uh, Las Vegas residency been with Wu-Tang? How does it feel to be back on stage together as a group? Vegas is cool. It's not my kind of town. Okay. I'm, I, I like to be a bit more reserved. But the show is awesome. If y'all can catch it, bring yourselves. It's great for a girl's trip. You know, come out, see the guys. Or if you're with your old lady fellas, you can come through, see the show. We actually take our shirts off during the show, so you better handcuff your woman. <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. But it's a great show. Wu-Tang Residency, I think we're back in uh, September. September, yeah. Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I, now see, that that's another thing there, right? Take my shirt off. So if, let's say, Nikki was sitting up here right now, 
If a fella asked her to turn around and shake her ass, y'all would assassinate his ass right now, right? That's it. All right. Um, so, you know, we've known you for so long. Grammy Award, you award with NAACP Image Awards. Um, can you talk about maybe one of the most prolific or just a moment in your career that has been the biggest highlight for you? My children's birth. Okay. That's it. Okay. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm gonna need that towel back. It's hot as fuck up here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, just no, my children's birth, yeah. I love that. And even just um, touching on family a little bit, you have been married for over 20 years um, and to a black woman. How does it feel to be loved by a black woman? There is no love like it. Oh. And um, us as fellas, we know that our sisters have not only stood behind us, but beside us and in front of us at every obstacle in our lives. And they're not afraid to let us be men, correct? Um, as far as my family goes, I keep it out of the media. We're happier that way, plus she prefers it that way. But just know we happy, period. That's it. Yes. And we love that for you. So there's been a lot of conversation just about music and hip-hop recently. Last year, we celebrated Hip Hop 50. If you had to put together your hip-hop Mount Rushmore, what would that look like? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really like anybody. <laughs> hip-hop Mount Rushmore? Yeah. I would need more time for that. Okay. I definitely need okay. more time for that. Okay, well, we'll circle back on that. I have a, I have a quick game for you uh -huh. of this or that um, with some of, you know, your things. Uh, the first one would be if you had to choose, would it be, and we'll, we'll start off light with fitness, um, leg day or upper body? Repeat the question. <laughs> it, Leg day or upper body? If you had to, my preference? For your preference on when you're working out, what do you prefer? Anybody that tells you they love leg day is lying. <laughs> but you gotta do legs. Um, I don't know, I'm just gonna say legs because. Okay. Legs, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't. The Wire or Power? Power. Okay, okay. But The Wire's a better show, but Power. Okay. Yeah. So. These are two of your songs, Got My Mind Made Up. And it's hotter than a motherfucker <laughs> up here, man. Am I the only one? See, y'all not sitting under these lights. That's why. Uh, we've got two of your songs, Got My Mind Made Up, or The What with Biggie, if you had to choose. Why y'all doing that? I like them both. I'm like the, one of the only dudes, solo artists, that got to work with Biggie and Pac. This is dope. <laughs> that got to work with Biggie and Pac while they were still alive. Right. Ooh. Feel oh, that. <laughs> they not like us. They not like us. They, they not like us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And that actually goes into my next question I was going to ask you, Kendrick or Drake? I ain't answering that. <laughs> I don't deal with the foolie wang, but I can tell you this. Nobody was selling no records while those two guys were going at it. No That's one. True. So That's it true. brought a lot of attention to just them two. I don't know how good that was for hip hop. This new shit that's happening though is not it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you one more question and then we're actually gonna open it up to the audience for two questions. So, so what is next for Method Man? Producing, being able to tell some of our stories our way, um, and just longevity. Waking up tomorrow morning, that's in the future for me, right okay. there. We love that. All right. We actually can't see up here, but if there is somebody down there that could grab an audience question for us, we've got to...
Yeah, give it a mic. Newlywed here. So with you being married for 20 years, what would you say is the best uh, marriage advice that you would have? Say what? <laughs> you have been married for 20 years. So what is the best marriage advice that you would offer? I, I, I hate to repeat myself, but keep people out your business. Pretty much. Oh, he passed her right up. Yep, give it to her. Them <laughs> shorts is shorten. Hi, what? Um, I'm from Canada. Canada. And I'm just saying, you know, I love you so much. Drake or Kendrick? No, you got to answer it. You from I'm Canada. Only you. No, Kendrick. I'm, I'm you only into you. Drake or Kendrick? I'm not going to answer your question until you answer mine. Drake or Kendrick? All right, Kendrick, Kendrick. You better have said Kendrick. <laughs> I like them um, both, though, but go ahead. Are you going to do another project with Redman? Me and Redman always do things together. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. <sighs> Short answer, yes. Anybody else? Can I have your shirt, Method Man? After I just embarrass myself pulling my shit up like that, no thank you. Can you bring back Rebel? I ain't hear a word you said. Rebel. Rebel. Oh, Danielle Monet Truitt. You know what's crazy about that show? That was my first love scene I'd ever done. I'm just happy that it was um, John Singleton behind the camera doing it. R.I.P. John Singleton, rest in paradise. Um, and me and Danielle are actually born on the same day. That's crazy, right? Me and my co-star are born on the same exact day. And she's a tremendous actress as well as entertainer. So yeah, Rebel. If y'all ain't seen it, I think BET be playing it. Right? Right. Would you be interested in doing skydiving like Red Man? Nope. <laughs> That's Red Man thing. I will not do that. Mortality is real. Yes, ma'am. Can you rap for us real quick? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mass crook, catch a body, a bad book. I burn a rook and I burn a pot, I'm the bad cook. Be mad shook if we get off on a bad foot. Your life in jeopardy. Alex, what is a bad look? That's it. How y'all doing? I love My name is back. Casey. Yes, uh, ma'am. Met the man. Yeah. Thank you for all the work that you've been doing. Yes. Sorry about that. Today's my birthday. Can you tell me happy birthday? My name is Casey again. I ain't hear you. Uh, can you tell me happy birthday? My name is Casey. Come up and get a hug, Casey. Come on. For sure. Happy birthday. Get a, you got to get a mic back, though, Casey. What, two more questions? Can we get some gentlemen? Yeah. Come on. I got I got. This is more of a statement. So 20 years ago, I, I always been a fan of Method, but like 20 years ago, I used to work. I used to work at a, a, at a record store. So uh, Hard Knock Life was in town, down in Atlanta, up in Atlanta. And you came, I made some fake VIP passes, got through the door, first person I saw was you and, and Red, and y'all smoked me out, and I appreciate that. 20 years later, bro. I That's what's up. You got a question, though? <laughs> All love. Salute, brother. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Method Man. Thank you so much for your time here today. We, the ladies loved it. The, the, the fellas the fellas, loved it. the fellas ain't even get to participate. <laughs> the emasculation of questioning. <laughs> Nah, love is love, though. And um, thank you all for coming out. I heard this is their biggest crowd they had today, and I appreciate that. Really do. Um, I know there's some people out there are really wondering about spoilers and stuff like that for the second half of the season of Power. I could tell you like this. I, didn't, I don't like the fact that they're breaking it up into two parts. I think that they should just play the whole thing out. And um, without giving away any spoilers, Tariq is a bad MF for this season. Just know that. All right. Salute. Thank you, Matt. Yeah. Have a good one.